Hello there! Welcome to the Watak channel. In this episode, we will describe one of the tests to measure the extent of lipid oxidation in fish meat. Fresh fish are highly perishable due to their biological composition. Spoilage of fish muscle often results from various biochemical changes brought about by several mechanisms. Oxidation of lipids, enzymic or catalytic reactions, and metabolic activities of microorganisms. These activities shorten the shelf life of fish and other seafood products. Lipid oxidation causes the deterioration of polyunsaturated fatty acids or PUFAS in fish. Unsaturated fatty acids are oxidized to form odorless and tasteless hydroperoxides. These primary lipid oxidation products are further decomposed to secondary lipid oxidation products that cause rancid and off flavors, which are mainly aldehydes such as hexanal, 4-hydroxynonenal or HNE, and malondialdehyde or MDA. MDA is a 3-carbon dialdehyde with carbonyl groups at the carbon number 1 and carbon number 3 positions and is known to be mutagenic to humans because it can form a dox with proteins and DNA. The most common method to determine MDA in food is a spectrophotometric measurement of the pink-colored duct of MDA with 2-thiobarbituric acid or TBA that gives a maximum absorbance from 530 to 535 nanometers. We refer this procedure to the improved TBA test for rancidity by DW Lemon. For the details of this and other specific tests, please refer to these methods on the description. Before we begin, make sure we wear our lab gowns and mask for protection. In this method, we need the following reagents. TBA reagent, extracting solution, and we also need our fish samples. The extracting solution contains 7.5% trichloroacetic acid or TCA, 0.1% propyl gallate or PG, and 0.1% ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid or EDTA. For our TBA reagent, we need 0.02 molars thiobarbituric acid or TBA in distilled water. Mechanical stirring or slight warming with agitation is required to dissolve the TBA. In this procedure, we need to blend 15 grams of the edible tissue with 30 ml of our extracting solution for 30 seconds using a tissue homogenizer. Please take note that only one part sample in grams wet basis is the two parts extracting solution in milliliters is required. The amount of sample is not critical, however, the ratio of two parts extracting solution to one part sample should be maintained. Difficulties may occur at a later stage in the procedure if higher TCA per sample ratios are used. After homogenization and blending the sample with the extracting solution, we need to separate the mixture by centrifugation at 2000 RPM for 15 minutes. The clear filtrate will be used for the TBA reaction. Now that we have our clear supernatant, we will now be adding this to our TBA reagent. We will be mixing 1 ml of the clear supernatant extract with 1 ml of the TBA reagent in the test tubes. If a high concentration of malondialdehyde is present, or if turbidity problems occur in a procedure, it may be necessary to use a smaller volume of extract. The volume will be brought up with distilled water before the addition of 1 ml TBA reagent. After adding the TBA reagent, we will cap the tubes and heat in boiling water for 40 minutes. If larger tubes than those specified are used, the caps should not be fully tightened to allow air to escape during heating. This reaction changes color to pink with absorbance maxima at 530 nanometers. We then need to cool the tubes in running tap water. After cooling the tubes, we will be transferring our alicotes to the 96 well plate. Now 
Next, we will measure the optical density at 530 nanometers with our reagent blank, which is mixed with water and TVA reagent using a microplate reader. Now, Raymond will analyze the optical density of our samples at 530 nanometers. We've learned how to conduct T-burst assay using our fish samples. It would be better if we use fish samples stored at different time intervals to determine oxidative density in our fish and seafood products. So for our next episode, we will be measuring TBA by standard curve determination. Let's learn together online here at the Wara channel. If you have questions, just comment down below. Like and subscribe. See ya!